We're going to wrap things up in the Worldwide Arena with a good one. We're going to see a couple of men that have really progressed over the last few years. Let me just smell something. I smell dirty, rotten, low-life, filthy animals. And Eric Watts better get ready. This one is listed as a one-on-one -on -one competition with Eric Watts facing Eddie Guerrero. I see Eric Watts, but I can smell Eddie Guerrero. I think, I think them filthy animals better start taking showers. They can peel paint, man, just by walking in a room. Peel paint. Very strong odor. Like Reba McIntyre, huh? Who? The animals run in a pack. If you've got Eddie Guerrero, you better count on having Ray Jr. and the rest of the animals out there, Kidman. But as if Eddie Guerrero isn't enough by himself. Very fast, very confident, very good. Eric Watts, of course, a lot bigger a man, but I don't know if he'll be able to keep up with the speed. So we're going to see Eric Watts try to climb out power and slow down Eddie Guerrero, and we'll see Eddie Guerrero move. Eddie Guerrero considered by many to be the best professional wrestler in the sport today, move for move, in tremendous shape. And he has recovered from that uh, world's longest frog splash thing. You keep hanging on him. Well, I'm just impressed that a guy can do a frog splash over a 150 feet to a T-top flying through the air. I mean, he's lucky he's walking, but as long as you're going to be in the air that long, do the frog splash and make it official. <laughs> That's hang time, brother. Well, that's a lot of hang time. Eddie Guerrero coming up on one year since that automobile accident, but he has put that long See, behind him. If he would have been wearing his seatbelt, he wouldn't have been here today. That's the story we get. Why, I never wear mine. That's why you've got 15 tickets. Traffic citation for three states. I would 25, but they can't catch the Z. Ooh. Eric Watts, the former quarterback for the Louisville Cardinals. And Eddie Guerrero, the former leader of the Latino World Order, and now the current built the animal. And proud of it. Oh, is he ever. Wouldn't you be proud to have Tory Wilson at ringside? <laughs> you need about three other guys to split the expenses. Well, that's a good point. Tory doesn't come cheap. Into the rope. Well, oh, what did he do Eddie, to his Eddie. knee? Did he pop his knee or is he playing possum? Hang on a sec. I think Eddie may have blown out that right knee. And Eric Watts. Giving him a little latitude. No! You were right, like that he was playing possible well, there. I've seen Eddie do that before, and again, you don't trust anybody, you don't under underestimate anybody, and if a guy hurts his knee, you don't give him time, to, you jump on the knee if it's injured or not. Well, in 1999, injuries are so prevalent, I thought maybe, just maybe, that he really was hurt. We've yeah. seen guys go down before. And Eric Watts thought the same thing. Blocks a hip toss. Ooh, but got it! A version of the Uranaki Suplex, Eric Watt. Whoa! Yeah, hit a nice move, but put the guns away to later. Cover Eddie. Kick him. Oh, I Let agree. Them. I agree with you, legend. And Eddie kicked out at one. Eric wasted way too much time. You hear the crowd chant for there, Eddie Guerrero. There's the animal crowd here. We saw the signs earlier on. People lined up outside the building. Dressed up. I saw a couple of guys. Or Girls actually dressed up like Kidman, for Pete's sake. A couple of homely chicks. Uh, let's just say that I was tempted. Ooh! The their, power bomb into the corner and a clothesline. Their face is their chaperone. Oh, boy. Eric Watts looks the far leg and no, Eddie just barely grabbed the rope in time to break up the three count. Yeah, but Eddie, Lee, he knows where his ring positioning is. He knows the rope was there. So that means he's still thinking and conscious. Watts realized it, just trying to pound him right in the head. And he did. But Watts isn't staying on him enough. Eddie Guerrero, he's a top leader, I'm telling you. Big price tag for that blunder by Watts. Hot shot across the top rope. Now Eddie takes it up. This might be a shorter version of the world record. It's going to be the frog splash from Uncle Eddie. That's it. Hooks the leg. It's over. The animals continue to reign supreme here on Worldwide. And Zabisco is going to the 18th hole. Not before the Castro GTX replay. All right. Well, right there. Tell you, playing possum works, especially when you're underestimated. Eric Watts made a big mistake against a man who is very, very good. Motor oil.
Well, that provides maximum protection. Castrol GTX. Drive hard. That wraps up this edition of WCW Worldwide Legend. you got to keep notes with what's going on. The Bret Hart situation, obviously there is dissension between Scott Hall and Kevin Nash and Sid Vicious. Now you throw in Bret Hart to that mix. There is also dissension between Lex Luger, excuse me, the total package, and his best friend, we thought, the Stinger. And there's the dissension in the Nitro Girls. The Nitro Girls, well, you know... Keep your eye on AC Jazz. She's a spunky little blue-eyed goddess. You know, when she's good, she's good, but when she's bad, she's great. Is that the voice of experience? No, just telling you. Just an observation. We'll have more inside scoop on the Nitro Girl situation, I'm assuming, from the legend next week. Until then, I'm Scott Hudson for the living legend Larry Zabisco. See you next week right here on WCW Worldwide.